Hey, what's going on, positive people? It's B Plus, and thank you guys for checking out yet another recap countdown. But today is not your ordinary recap countdown. We are going to be taking a look at Indie Tribe's latest release entitled Low Blow, but I got a little bit of help for this one. Please welcome my man, Big Swiss. What up, B Plus? I'm excited. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, this is uh, this has been a long time coming. I mean, we've known each other for, I mean, a year? Yeah. 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 Twitter, we known each other for a little bit longer, but we finally got a chance to have some lunch about like a year ago. Yeah. So I'm excited to be sitting down with you. Um, I had this recap countdown in the works for quite some time, but it just didn't feel right. And I'm happy I didn't do it because now I get to sit down with you and do it. So um, for those who have not checked out a recap countdown uh, really quickly, all I do is I take a look at my five favorite bars, my four favorite beats, my three favorite tracks, my two favorite features, and I round everything out with one final recap. But um, I have Big Swiss that's going to help me along the way. This is hard because this is a collective. It's hard to pick out, for instance, favorite uh, bars just because it's three people to choose from. And yep. you got the excellent hype man, DJ Mike LV, yep. throwing in his flexes, and it's just it's hard to choose. So, um, so I'm bringing you in to kind of fill in the gaps. So what we're going to do, um, let's see, we are going to kick it off with uh, five favorite bars, but I want to get your actual reaction to my picks. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so this is this is going to be fun. So uh, you guys uh, you guys buckle up because I feel like this is going to be really, really fun. So let's get ready to check out my five favorite bars. Let's do it. Five bars. Survival and living might look the same to the one who don't see. Circles like do see do see Don't pretend that you cozy. Life ain't that can cold be fine and joy feel like hunting moby. I saw you change a little bit to get a little change. Compromise a little bit to get a little fame. Okay. In public, you holy in private. Are you still the same? Who are you really when Temple hit the pillowcase? It ain't like had a little lamb and he the reason I'm the goat. I wanna oh, learn to walk on water, y'all just wanna buy a boat. I know I've always had a problem just doing what I'm told. God sneezed in my face, but it's a different kind of cold. I shake my head so I could grow a bat. Think that's a metaphor for everything I've been through, I'ma tell y'all about. I deconstructed everything that I believe in back to the beginning and built it back on top of Christ the risen. I'm still up in my eyes like what's the reason? I just wanna be righteous, Lord, I'm pleading. I know that my sin ain't left you bleeding. Won't you have some mercy on this heat? Man, there's just something about the way that he delivers that heathen line. Yeah. Because he's juxtaposing the the hook from the beginning, and he it almost sounds like a lament. Yeah, you know, and like there's something about the way that that hits when I when I heard it, it, it gave me like goosebumps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it just like really hit deep. Yeah, um, the way he delivers that line, even that's just that whole song is, is yeah. incredible. Yeah, that was that was uh, I won't give it a head what my what my three favorites are, so I'll, I'll I'll hold that comment, but that one really resonated the most with me because I think for me, if you, I mean, listen to my five favorite bars, the majority of them were like heart bars. Mm -hmm. A lot of yeah, them weren't like yeah. heavy on punchlines. Yes. Same. Um, so like there was one, um, actually I left my notebook at home and um, <laughs> I hate that I left that because I, I jotted down some notes, but it was John Keith. I can't remember which, where I had it on the countdown, but he said the difference between surviving and living, like mm -hmm. it's hard to tell, like if somebody's yeah. like really like living or they just really surviving. So yeah. I thought that was really dope. Um, it was just, I mean, it was just from top to bottom. I feel like Mowgli wrapped his face off on this entire project. I felt like mm -hmm. he, um, I mean, obviously he's more into like the, what would you say? Like the more pop. Well, he, he calls it hyper rock. Hyper rock. Yeah. That's like what oh, he calls it. Okay. And so he's, he's kind of starting the hyper rock movement. Mm -hmm. Um, but man, dude's got range. I he mean, does. he can sing, he can scream, he can rap. Nobody can do a deliver a hook like him. Yeah, like I feel yeah. like he's one of the best hook deliverers in Christian hip hop. So, yeah. uh, so shout out to you, Mowgli, man. You are you are a beast at that, and I really do feel like he he did a, a really good job rapping on this project. Um, what were some of the other bars? Because obviously, um, there's only a few uh, slots, and right. you have three artists. So right. Right. Uh, you gave me. Uh, I had to send me some some timestamps of mm -hmm. some different um, or some other bars that I may have missed. So I'm going to go ahead and switch gears and try to get that pulled up for you here. Okay. All right. 
So what was one of the other bars by, let's go with, uh, let's see. Let's start with, with John Keith. Let's start with John Keith. What was another bar from John Keith that you liked that I maybe I didn't pick? Uh, for me, it was, um, let's see. I went, because when I sent you this, I tried to do my favorite ones from each one. The one I picked from John is on Rich. Uh, and it's, let um, me pull that up here. All right. So let's, 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 let's give a quick listen to this real quick. Yes. That was tough. So the reason why I like it is because he says, y'all just lying. I'm Daniel. And yeah. if you know, Old he's Testament bars, Old Testament, but also he's going to be the voice of Daniel in the anime that is doing like a hip hop version of Old Testament. Uh, is Chad Smith doing that? Yes. Okay. I think, I think that's who it is. But, but John Keith is the voice of Daniel in that. And so it's like, if you know that it's even a deeper yeah. bar. And then two, the whole song is talking about like going into the lion's den. And so, like, ah, I have to go back and listen to yeah, it. Yeah, it's like a three level bar, and and then two, the delivery, like the, the rah, like that, yeah, that yeah, guttural sound in his voice where yeah. he's like, you know, don't get trampled. Like, yeah. I really like that delivery. And, yeah, and John, John, I think I've been following John since King's Dream days. Yeah, and I feel like yeah, every last. release he he increases the letter grade and he's been at an A for the last three releases. So yeah. like, I don't yeah. know how much higher you can go. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to really get into Eremos. Yeah. I, I was really busy during that time. It was mm-hmm. an early part of the year. And like, I need to go back and revisit that because um, I, I feel like I missed out. I feel yeah. like I missed out. I got some of the highlights of it, but I really didn't dig into the album like I should have. Man, so. Go back, dude. It's going to be on my top 10 this year for sure. Got it. Got it. Well, let's switch to Mowgli. What was, uh, what was uh, the bars from Mowgli? That Mowgli I- actually picked the same cut that you picked. Uh, um, you I have would, a, you have another one? I, I, I feel I, like you had one from Sliding that we that was it, That was from Sliding. That's the one you picked. That is the one I picked. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's I went slide in 158 to 214. All right, let's let's uh let's double let's just double check real quick. Keep it above, man. I went off the rails. If I had my heart broken, cut in half and impaled. I cut the light up from the source, I didn't handle it well. My body counting to the moon. I put my spirit through hell, but still I see redemption when I look at my wife. And I'm reminded of the goodness found in following Christ. Now I'm flying around the country, I can crow. Yes, yeah. I'm glad you picked that one. That's that's a different one. I like that one just because like the transparency, like, yeah. like they don't have to let us into like that portion of their life and like let us know that like he got it, he got hurt. And then he took and did what a lot of people do. We become numb when we get hurt. Mm-hmm. We don't feel it. Mm-hmm. We become numb. Then we go out and we do terrible things. In his case, he ran his body count up. Yeah. So, kids, if you don't know what that means, it's... <laughs> ask your mom. Yeah. Ask, uh, ask mom later. <laughs> uh, but I think for the reason it resonates with me, it's the same story I have. Exactly. You know, in my past. And so um, the way he articulates it is is really well. And and then two, he and I are both on the other side of marriage now and yep. like have seen like how the sanctification of marriage can change you mm-hmm. and grow you. And, and you can see the redemption by seeing how you grow with your spouse. And I think that's something that, you know, not, you know, single people can't experience yet. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. So uh, let, let's go ahead and get that last Dilly bar. So uh, let's <laughs> let's get this pool back up. So what was your what was your uh, your separate Dilly Dilly bar that you liked? Uh, my favorite verse from the whole like full verse is No Big Deal's verse from Rich from the whole record. OK, but the one that I the, my favorite bar is from Below the Belt. Hmm. Below the belt. Let me make sure I got that pulled up here. All right, so let's check this one out. See this what you need, huh? Little living water plus the sun will grow a tree, huh? Obedience be the fruit and poop and even bow at me when Jesus come through clouds and breeze. Yes, you are is more correct if I perfectly exit G. What shot thought yeah, this was? I, he just always has a way of like using almost like I mean he's using seminary terminology here. He's talking yeah. about exegesis and like 
how do you break down words? And he's doing it in a bar that people need to break down. I mean, it's like a super meta bar. Yeah. Like, you know, you have to, you have to know what those terms mean to even like break down what he's trying to say. Mm -hmm. And I love it when a rapper can do that. Yep. yep. And, and he's, he's notorious for doing that. Yeah. He's Dilly's like one of those sleeper, sleeper artists for me, just because like he was kind of bubbling like kind of below the surface. And then we obviously we had a uh, lowercase mixtape. Mm -hmm. And then he's just been hitting with a lot of singles. Obviously he has some things going on with Indie Tribe, but like every time he releases a single, every time he's a feature, it's like he captivates your attention. Like he, like he oh. demands you to pay attention to him. And I, I, I didn't see him exactly coming. I didn't, I didn't, I knew he was talented, but I didn't see that. I feel like he's like the, a voice right now for like that younger CHH group. Like obviously like people like KB are like that for like that mm -hmm. people who have been around a little bit longer, mm -hmm. but no big deal. I feel like he might be like that next wave. Yeah. I think, uh, so the thing that I appreciate about Dylan is he, he never doesn't have a Christ, uh, metaphor mixed in the bar. In fact, mm -hmm. Every single verse probably has a. I, th I feel like he has a quota that he's trying to hit. When I did a, <laughs> a president breakdown, which I should probably do a video on, mm -hmm. I think I counted seventeen Bible verse references in in the sixteen bars. 